Hey, what's up? What's up again, everybody? What's up? Um, just a bit concerned about some things, you know. Um, um, and it's just it just kind of triggered a while ago because I was watching an advertisement a while ago on I don't know if it's which station it was on. It maybe CVM or TVG. I don't know. Anywho, and uh, um. I realized that they were voting for some songs and uh, all the songs were if it is that you have like a sing j song maybe one or two but the rest of it they were like dance hall songs and time and time year after year after year after year i realized that it's how it is in jamaica so if it is that you're not a dance hall dance hall artist um or maybe a reggae artist to an extent but for the most part a dance hall act i'm talking about we don't have like you know in america how they would have um country singers r&b singers hip-hop singers rap artists soul singers like anita baker and all of that and you have the genre for that kind of music and you have the audience for that kind of music and you have the accolades for that kind of music so a man who sings country or a woman who sings country can get her his or her Grammy Award. Somebody who sings soul can get his or her Grammy Award. Somebody who, you know, sings hip hop, pop, uh, rap will get their Grammy Awards. And the list goes on here in Jamaica. And forgive me, I have nothing against dance hall. I love all forms of music. I think music is just wonderful. I think music is just absolutely beautiful. Dance hall has its place. But I'm here thinking. For persons who may not want to go that route, we have basically whether 2.7 or 3 million people here in Jamaica. Many persons can sing very well. They may not necessarily want to venture into the reggae side or the dance hall side. It doesn't mean that they probably don't like it. Maybe it's not even their forte. That's not their speciality. Like I tell people, I'm not my, my tone is not really like real gospel. I know good like voices who are real gospel voices. You know what I mean? And I'm like, and I'm saying to myself, so is if it is that I don't go out there and do dance hall or do something with some reggae oriented flavor behind it, I have no chance to make it as a singer. And I'm looking at it and I, I watch these different ads time after time after time. And I'm saying to myself, what happens to the persons out there who just want to sing? Whether they're opera singers, whether they're classical singers, whether they're gospel singers, whether they're, you know, like I more have an R&B voice, you know what I mean? Like I love R&B pop, you know what I mean? Kind of songs. And I'm saying to myself, if it is that I really want to make it out there, I'd have to become a dance hall artist. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out, is it that the music education in Jamaica has failed? I'm just asking. I'm not making any assumption, by the way. And again, I'm not hitting at dancehall. I'm not hitting at reggae. I love those two art forms. I think they're just beautiful. Those two art forms are just beautiful. But what I'm just simply saying is that everybody is reggae oriented or that's not their genre, you know, or dancehall oriented. I know of so many good singers that I used to sing with. You know what I mean? In the university singers and I'm like, the world needs to hear some of these people's voices as well as others who I may not know. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking to myself, is it that people don't want to hear a different form of music? You know, a lot of people, a lot of times I hear people say, a lot of everything Jamaica don't follow America with. But we don't follow some of the things that are, for me, are fundamental. In other words, the pie, in other words, the pie is big. Give people a chance. You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, I, I don't, I love dance, I love reggae. Like I'm licking at um, Sting and all of these um, functions or whatever it is. And I'm saying to myself, and sometimes you're watching it, and act after act after got it. Act is dance all, or, you know, maybe one and two man who sing J or whatever it is. And I'm like, I don't understand. Is it that the music education in Jamaica has failed? Is it that other forms of singing and music has not been presented properly to the country that everyone if it is that you want to become an international artist and you're coming from jamaica you have to be a dance hall or a reggae singer everything has to just come back to some it's just two ways is it a dance hall or reggae but i mean dance hall is a spin-off from reggae it's almost like a subculture from the reggae you know what i'm saying and it it's disheartening 
because I'm saying a lot of persons are blessed with beautiful, lovely vocal skills, but they're not necessarily gravitating to or gravitated towards the dance or slash reggae. That's not their forte. Maybe when they sing their voices is, is maybe more classical or more operatic or hip hop, pop. They just, I mean, reggae just doesn't fit them, you know, or dance all just doesn't fit them. And yet, singers like us outside of the mainstream music here in Jamaica seem to not have that opportunity or seem to not have that chance. So I'm wondering now, is it that the music education has failed? Is it that the music education has failed? Is it that persons think that if it is that you're not a dance hall music? artist or reggae artist that you you can't have an entertaining enjoyable music if it is that you're going to have a big concert you have to invite like the international singers no and then that's how people are no and i'm wondering to myself if it is that the music system in jamaica has failed like i was only introduced to classical music when I joined the university singers, I knew nothing of it. You used to hear them kind of singing and wonder what it is. You know what I mean? And when I joined it, I realized how much I missed, how much I didn't even understand. Still don't even understand about really what music is. And I'm, I'm wondering if it is that we need to hold some forums, get other types of music out there in the media. Because the media helps to propagate whatever it is that, you know, becomes popular. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really concerned. Like, it, it was down, it dawned on my heart. You know, I was, I mean, I'm watching the ads. And they say, vote for this music. And they're saying, it's one dance I'll act after another, after another, after another. They may hear one and two sing J persons on it. And I'm like, and it's, again, it's sing J. You know, it's not necessarily a soul song without a reggae rhythm behind it. And I'm not knocking reggae. I'm not knocking dancehall. All music forms has its place. It's beautiful. There are times you just want to hear like a dancehall rhythm. You want to hear a reggae rhythm, you know. But there are moments you want to hear a hip-hop rhythm. You want to hear a pop rhythm. You want to hear a soul thing, soul songs. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying you have to invite all of these overseas artists if it is that you're going to have like maybe like you say a Valentine's Day concert or some Christmas thing. You have to invite you because we have not truly mentored, truly pr propagated, truly pushed, you know, harnessed good soulful singers here. We have a number of beautiful voices here in Jamaica. We have a number of beautiful voices here in Jamaica who just love the opportunity to make it. But they don't want to stir the dance hall on the reggae side. I don't know why people feel there's only one form of music. I move people or shake people or get people entertained or, or their lives change in some way or other. I have an issue. I've, it, it, and, and take it from me as a singer, I love all kinds of all forms of music. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying... We have different skill sets here that needs to be harnessed. So I'm wondering, I'm asking the question, is it that the music system has failed from school days? I'm just wondering to myself, why is it that we feel that there's only one art form here? Other countries have different forms of art music that, I mean, you can get, you can make a living from or your name can get out there. And not everybody like reggae, and not everybody like dance. I'll just as how you have persons where not everybody like hip hop, and not everybody like pop, and not everybody like rap. You know what I'm saying? But the pie is big enough where everybody can benefit. And I'm looking and, and I'm saying to myself, I'm seeing that I have a Valentine's Day concert that I'd love to go to um, with Atlantic Star, and I say like um, a few local ads. Acts, and I can't tell when last I heard those local acts um, name advertised as some big something. Karen um, thing, what's her name there? Karen Smith and Jem Myers. Jem Myers, remember when me look at me, I hear Jem Myers, I never remember the song off and it don't kick to me right now. You know what I mean? I have them singers a lot, and I'm like to myself, I don't, I can't even, I mean, the name is foreign to many persons. When they look at that list, they went, like, Who is Jem Myers? Who is Karen Smith? They don't know because we're not exposed. And you have so many other good singers out here where we could have big, just as how you have Sting and you have um, 
subfest and so on and so on you can have other big shows with singers and i'm not saying to leave out any dance offers don't misunderstand what i am saying please but you just have those persons who don't grab it even their voices it, do, it just doesn't gravitate towards that kind of music and it therefore means that the music industry as well as the music education system from the school days have failed because if a man thinking that they want to make it or a woman thinking that she wants to make it here in Jamaica, yes, she would want here, she would want to travel internationally as well. It's like either be a dancehall artist or a reggae artist. What I'm saying is not false. Name one somebody or one person who you know is just a strictly a regular soul singer then. Let's say it that way. Or pop singer out here. Their voices just gravitate that way. Or an opera singer or a classical singer. Because we have almost been inculcated to believe that, that kind of music can't make it here in Jamaica or the classical music boring or whatever no 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 I used to think that way until I joined the university singers marvel I mean sometimes I remember once before joining them I think that is how I decided to audition for them when and I heard them performing in the Philip Sherlock Center and believe you me I was in oh I'm have to stand up there one place I couldn't move a muscle and not easy forget me if you just stand up so and I'm saying to, and the music is almost like you feel the music going through your vein, your, your, your whole vein, your whole, I mean, it just does something to your whole system. It's almost like you want to metamorphosize you into something beautiful. I'm just simply saying we need to learn, to, we need to teach our children how to appreciate other art forms and the media and the powers that be, the music education system, the music industry need to give other four art forms a chance. There's a reason why God blessed us with that kind of um, um, singing. You have some persons who their voices are just strictly gospel, but they can entertain you or minister unto you. You have some persons like myself who are just hip-hop pop, and we can entertain you and minister unto you. You have some persons who are just rap um, artists, and they can entertain you and minister unto you. And you have, likewise, you have the dance hall, and, but I'm just saying the pie is big. Why we feel like everybody have to just be a dance hall or a reggae act? And when you're looking at the voting, and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and you have so many beautiful singers out there. They can't even get a chance to get squeezing into that thing. We just, I mean, we fail to give other persons a chance. So they end up have to go into something that they don't love. Working a nine to five. They can't even allow their gifts to make room for them. It's disappointing. It's, it's completely disheartening. That is why I have gone in there. Because, I mean, I love... I love I'm, I'm more... I, I love exploring different kinds of music. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want nobody pin me down and say, I have to be a reggae this or a reggae that or dance all this. You can have... I, you may have a show where you just do one and two this or one and two dance or one and two. But you know what you're... Look at Ananita Baker, for example. An amazing singer. She was a soul singer. You know what I'm saying? Whitney was a... a oh, God. For me, for me, Whitney's just like the best singer in the entire world. You know? For me. And she was just a pop singer. I'm sure if she probably were a Jamaican or, 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 or so, and tried dance, it probably wouldn't fit her voice. Or a reggae-oriented song just wouldn't fit her voice. You know what I mean? You, that's the a, that's a reason why the world is dynamic. That's why versatility in terms of style and genre of music was created. I don't want somebody to tell me so because Jamaica um, reggae, is, uh, reggae was birthed out of Jamaica or dance was birthed. Fine, that's, fa that's lovely. That's lovely, commendable, everything that you want to say. But you have persons who just don't, their voices naturally do not gravitate towards that. And they would love to be able to not necessarily go to a 95 to work. As I said, I know of a lot of singers and amazing singers. But dancehall and reggae wouldn't fit their voices. That's not their forte. You know what I mean? I don't know other singers who gospel just fit their voices well, well. You know what I'm saying? And others different art forms, hip hop, pop. And I'm saying to myself, these people have all the talents and they have a wait on a, a little small show and nobody hear more than something I hear about and thing. And they just, they both just end up going back to a nine to five. They can't even allow because the powers that be, as I said, the music industry, the education system don't allow them to be able to harness their skills where others can hear them. How people feel it might be boring or it won't work if it is not pushed then how will it work if it isn't facilitated how will it work 
just as how they find ways of facilitating and sponsoring and so on dancehall slash reggae if you do the very same for other art forms and show the versatility then i mean oh my god it it breaks my heart i can only pray and hope that singers like myself who would love to see other art forms be one of the mainstay here in Jamaica, be among the mainstream music, just like America, country music. You have country western awards. You have, uh, what should I say now? Soul Train Music Award. You have this award. You have that. I mean, with all the art forms being promoted, all styles of music, to bring that versatility because everybody now going to gravitate to one sort of thing. Like me, I like different times. There are times I may want to hear this. There are times I may want to hear that. It's just, it's just really saddening. It's re it breaks my heart when I think about it. You know what I'm saying? And you're saying, God, you have all of this talent and you'd love for it to get out there. But if you don't gravitate one way, if you don't sing dance all or reggae, then, you know what I mean? You're going nowhere. It don't make no sense. You want to, you, do, you want to take music as your career. Because, you know, that's not the kind of music that Jamaicans appreciate in general. Look at, as I said, you have Sting and all of these things. And 90 odd percent of it is dance hall. Fine, if you want to have that, just like how you have the country music award, the main country, fine. But I'm just simply saying, harness, promote, uh, uh, sponsor, whatever it is, other art forms. They can entertain you, they can heal you, they can minister to you, they can bring some kind of fun, whatever it is. I know one music alone can just bring that fun to you. Or that life or whatever it is that you want to enjoy through the music. As I said, I never I never appreciated um opera slash classical music until I joined singers. And when I mean when I um visited one of the, the shows one of the times before I joined, I was in awe. I wasn't exposed to it really before. So people might say, Lord, they, aunt, you have to be there because it's gonna present it palatable to you. First of all, they're good singers. And then they're going to present, um, it's almost like a movie you're watching. Likewise with gospel, you have very good gospel singers. Singers, we don't have to go reggae only. That can entertain you, minister unto you. Likewise, you have hip-hop pop singers who can minister unto you, can move you, who can just almost, when you finish, you feel like, oh my God, you eat some excellent food. You just feel renewed. You have some mad rap artists out there who can just move you and entertain you. It don't have to be that you just have to do. When a, sh a concert happening, you say, oh Lord, it's only reggae or dancehall. I'm not putting down reggae. I'm not putting down dancehall. Please don't misunderstand because there are beautiful reggae songs out there. Lovely dancehall songs out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting that down. I'm just simply saying that other music art forms are not being harnessed here in Jamaica. As I'm saying, some people probably say that that um, flyer there or billboard with Gem Myers when where Atlantics are coming for Valentine's Day or pre-Valentine's or something like that. And I'm sure a lot of persons don't even know who she is. Or Karen Smith. I don't remember the other name. I, saw, I think I saw Chris Martin's name. Nice. But even then, you know, again, he had to go, I mean, reggae again, you know. And I'm simply saying, I don't understand. It therefore means that there was some failure in the music system. Whether it's a music industry here in Jamaica, the music education system, or the powers that be, whoever it is that controls it, along with the media and what is propagated. There are other art forms that can entertain, minister unto, bring healing, whatever it is that you search for when you listen to music. Other art forms can bring that. Not only one art form. Give people like us a chance. There are other singers that I know, rapper artists. I mean, so many other persons that you think of who would love that opportunity and just can't seem to get that opportunity. That's why I don't go there because I don't want nobody just pin my voice down to one.